I want to talk to you for a moment about the dining hall procedures at Camp Geiger. At Camp Geiger, we set up in a very nice dining hall with eight people per table. Each table has one waiter, and troops are assigned to tables. When you walk into the dining hall, there will be a card on the center of each table that already says who should be sitting there, how many staff members, how many people from a troop. The people at the door will look at what troop is coming in the door, they will yell out your troop number, and the people who are at that table with your troop number, the staff members at that table with your troop number, will then yell your troop number out so that you know exactly where to go. Your table waiters have already been there, they should have a good clue on how to let you know where to go also. In addition to that, we want one adult from your troop to set with each table that's there. We will make sure that there are enough spaces in the dining hall that adults can be available to do that. The waiters will set the table before the meal and take care of the table during and after the meal. In order to see those procedures, you should look at the waiter's duties and how they work. When you come into the dining hall, do not set down until after the prayer has been said or spoken and you are directed to have a seat. There will be salad bars available, but don't go to the salad bar until after everyone has been seated. At each table, there is an adult there for a reason. One, you are a policeman. Second, you are to help make sure that waiters are taken care of and that they are assigned for the rest of the week. That can either be done on a daily basis or it can be done the whole week at a time. Make sure that you understand during the week things will change that may require someone not to be in the dining hall and you should make sure that those are taken care of as the leaders. Seating in our dining hall is limited. If you need to change something or need to move people, do not do that without first speaking with the camp director. There are times when seating is very, very tight and limited because of the popularity of Camp Geiger we have learned how to arrange our dining hall so that everyone has the opportunity to eat. At the leaders meeting at 530, it will be announced on those weeks how many leaders will be eating in the dining hall at the regular shift with each troop. If you have more leaders than are available for eating in that regular shift, they will need to eat in what we generally call an early shift. The early shift people must arrive between 30 and 45 minutes before the meal. That allows the cooks time to get it prepared and the people time to eat and get out of the dining hall so that the waiters can come in and set the table for the incoming troops. Please be courteous to us and arrive during that 30 to 45 minute window to assure that you're going to be seated. All guests using the dining hall facilities will need to have a meal ticket that they have purchased from the trading post that they can hand to the people at the door when they come in. You will have wristbands and you should have those wristbands on when you enter the dining hall. Having them in your pocket will not suffice. We do require them to be permanently affixed to your arm during your week of camp. Be aware they change colors every week. So you need this week's dining hall wristbands. Additionally, guests who come in during weeks that are extremely full will not be able to have a seat with your troop until everyone else is seated and we find out where available seats are, uh, are still remaining. If in fact uh, there are no seats available, we cannot displace scouts or staff in order to seat visitors. Please be sure at your table if the tag in the middle says there are to be two staff members, let's make sure there are two seats for staff members. Staff have nowhere to go and they also traditionally are part of the program. 